Hey there, I'm Jenna Vargas, and today I'm going to show you how to optimize to a LinkedIn all-star profile. I'll give you some of the fundamentals in short and sweet. Um, if you're just getting started, this is super helpful for some of the fundamentals. Um, let's start from the top here. The banner and the image can easily be edited by clicking on the pencil icon or clicking on the image. We want to make sure we have a very clear image, so whether that means using your iPhone, um, but you can um, make some really cool edits on canva.com, which I'll have as another tutorial. Um, but all you would do is click add photo. You can either use the camera, upload the photo, select the photo, and then hit open. Okay. So that's first things first. Uh, again, an iPhone is totally doable that you can use that for, for getting started. As long as the image is clear, it's a professional, I would say business professional, business casual type of attire. I would also recommend in the clear image, it's just you, no family members, at least for LinkedIn. Um, then here for the banner, this is nice if you want to add maybe your geographical location when it comes to like a skyline. This could be areas of expertise. This could be just a colorful, very focused, um, showing creativity. Um, if you don't use canva.com for free for your banner, what you could do is change photo here and use one of the add a custom image that LinkedIn already provides. But I would highly recommend not just keeping it as a gray box in the background, okay? The next section here I would say is if you go to the pencil, and this is on your desktop, but you can also use the mobile device, and your headline. You wanna talk about who you are, what you do, and how you add value or make an impact. I would highly recommend keeping it super personable and adding a little bit of energy and personality. Some people also keep it super simple of like business coach, um, change maker. They might add more so like their focus so that people can identify with what they do and who they serve. Um, you can definitely look up some examples on Google for different LinkedIn headlines, okay? Um, another area I would make sure is that you're focused on which industry you're serving. So um, keeping in mind when you click on this, you should be able to, here you go, you should be able to kind of identify with one of the specific industries. So that way um, your audience or recruiters or whoever it is that you have that's focused on looking for you, that they're able to locate you based on the industry that you're focused on. So for me, I'm going to keep it as what I had it. Okay. Um, so then you're going to hit save. That would update. And you have the option to update this regularly. Um, there's no restraints there. I'll show you how to make these hashtags here in a moment when we get down below. Um, and then I like to keep this a little bit more general. I'm in the outskirts of Tampa Bay, Florida, but I like to keep it more of like the general major market. So that's definitely highly recommended. And then contact info, you can edit with this nice little pencil here. Um, and it's up to you. Not everyone likes to do their mobile number, but as a, a in my recruiting background, it was always great so that candidates or prospective candidates could locate me um, when I was doing recruiting. And then website, I have my website option there and then my Twitter handle. And I could probably also link it with some other um, social accounts, okay? The other piece here before we move on down is edit public profile and URL. So you see up here in the URL, I have Dr. Jenna Vargas here. This is how you're going to be really branding yourself um, on all of your different social um, handles, as well as if you have a website in the future, it's always great. Just keep it super simple um, in the case that maybe you're on a podcast or you're on some sort of um, YouTube video, it's easy to communicate where people can locate you based on your area of expertise and what you want to be known for based on your, your given purpose. Okay. So you click on this area and you go to this little pencil and you can edit it. You have to just make sure nobody else is using, um, the same handle. Sometimes you can use certain special characters. Let me see. Do not use spaces, symbols, and special characters. So you could use like a dash if somebody had something similar, I believe you could do something like this. Um, you could use numbers and so forth. Just wanna share that with you, okay? So we'll keep moving on down here. I have my website. So at some point, if you have a website, that would be great. You have followers. So making sure that as you're following and connecting, it's within your given audience that you're looking to connect with and attract. Um, and then open to is a really great area because in this section, you're able to, let me look here. In this section, you're able to, um, let me show you what you can do. 
here I have open to work and providing services. So open to work means if, if you are looking for full-time contract, part-time or temporary, you would be able to be located by recruiters as well as I'll show you in the other section how you can send out proposals for contract work. So I put in some of the more creative job titles that I might be interested in doing on a contract basis or part-time basis as I continue to evolve my brand and business. And then I'm saying I only want to work remotely from the home office, looking for remote or opportunities around the Tampa Bay area. Um, more flexibly, looking more flexible. And then you have the option here to either say you want all LinkedIn members to know and have open to work hashtag on your profile image or people using LinkedIn recruiter, okay? So let's save that. Um, you can also share that online if you would like about opportunities. And then I like this section. So during the pandemic, I really had honed in the business on helping people with like career coaching, resume building, personal branding, and LinkedIn profiles, getting them to an all-star status so that they can land their remote opportunities. And, and more so if they're looking to hone in on like corporate and startup opportunities, some people were looking to start their own business, but for the most part at that point, um, I was locating them in what's called ProFinder. So I would highly encourage looking at ad services. I'd have to remove this so you can kind of see what the options are, but depending on what you want to add here, you can, you know, select a certain um, focus area that you're an expert in. And then down below, you can go through categories. So I'd highly recommend checking that out. And then I have a nice little script of what I sent out for my proposals. Then you hit done. So depending on what you are great at, what your area of expertise or what you want to be hired for, these are individuals. Um, they might be looking for, let's say, executive coaching. They might be looking for personal branding uh, for their resume and LinkedIn. They might be looking for um, social media marketing services. So depending on what your expertise is, you will be able to kind of provide a little overview about who you are and what you do. And you'll get those, um, those requests via email, and then you can send individual proposals out. It's another great way to monetize based on your expertise as you decide on continuing forward working for um, an organization or if you're branching out individually. So just as an FYI. So let's continue back. We're gonna move on down here, down below. Um, let me show. So this here is your analytics. You can check that out. Creator mode, this is helpful to add your hashtag. So you want to have up to five hashtags of what you're really focusing on, right? Um, so for me, I probably, I'm going to keep it a little more general and maybe here I do, um, like branding tips, branding and marketing, Branding consultant, branding tips. I like that. Branding expert. Cool. And then you hit done just to kind of give you an idea. All right. And I don't know if you saw there at some point, once you are a little bit more um, engaged online, you could request to be on LinkedIn live, maybe getting on with another one or up to multiple people for LinkedIn Live and having really engaging conversations, audio events, um, maybe you have some sort of um, events happening or newsletters. So those are available, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can turn that off if you would like as well. And then let's go on down here. This is a great area if you want to start um, doing some blogging, sharing your podcast, sharing information and content to really value, value, value is so, so critical, right? So connecting with the audience and having a very focused point of your purpose and why it is that it's important to share the work that you do. How are you impacting others and, and providing transformation? Um, so that's pretty neat there. Then your about section is about I like to do first person narrative about who you are, what you do, what you're passionate about and what your impact and value add is. So I like to put a little bit about my strengths finder assessment, my five key areas, um, really how that impacts others. Here I like to connect with others. So they get to know a little visibility. I'm a wife, I'm a mom of three, I have a dog. So areas to really connect. And I'm super focused on um, helping people find their purpose, both men and women. So really, 
narrowing in on working with creatives that are high performing. I think those are really key words for me. Um, I talk about the purpose and, and really showing people there's a world of possibilities and really reaching a targeted audience and really standing out using LinkedIn. This is a, a really core feature um, for employees and entrepreneurs, just as an FYI. And then, hey, what are your areas of expertise and your focus, right? And then how people can get in touch with me here as well as in the contact section. Then your experience, this is a great way to optimize and really um, provide your audience with key insight into kind of your, your where you started and where you're at today and how that's evolved, right? So I wanna share that with you as well. Then your education, let me show you here how you can add that and edit it. So you add positions, add career break. So you can easily just click here, add a certain, right? Certain title, pick from these employment types. What is the company name? You can click on that. Location for mine, I put remote. Am I currently there? When did I start? When did I end? Or am I presently there? And it's up to you if you want to have a little information about the work that you do and the impact. Okay. And then you hit save. Okay. All right. And then down below here, let's take a look. You can add um, certifications, but this one I attached here because I had done that at Brightview, but there is a certification section. So um, the internet's going a little slow here, but these typically are populated with, there's some audio, video, um, and promotions that I did with ICF. Then under education, same thing, you can edit here by the little pencil button, or you can go in and just add a section for education. Same thing, you just follow the instructions and you're good to go. Um, and then lastly, I did wanna show you, there are some additional, if you have any volunteer experience, maybe you have some leadership experience, um, just making an impact in your community or nationwide, it's always great to add that. Um, and I did just skip over here, license and certification, same thing. Um, if you have any value add when it comes to license, certifications, areas of expertise, highly recommend that we add something there. And then in the skills section, you have up to 50, making sure that these are hyper-targeted in your area of expertise, who you serve, what you do, um, and just being hyper-focused. So I likely will be going back in here soon enough to really hone in, and then people are able to um, endorse you, which just adds a little bit of additional um, credibility in addition to I'll show you in the review section as well with the testimonials. Okay. So you can edit these top three. So as an example, let's say um, endorsement settings. I think it was this section here. So I can pick like, what do I want to be known for? What are my top... Um, key areas. So for me, I would say definitely business strategy. I want branding up there, not brand awareness, probably more like brand strategy or brand proper recruiting. Let me see, career counseling, creative development. I'll start there, but let me go out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I go back here, let me show you. Demonstrate skills, let me see. Like here under demonstrate skills, you can take assessments and, and have that on your profile. But I did wanna show you down here, let me see. If I hit the pencil. It looks like the, the settings have slightly changed, let me see. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I would probably change up. There's one here. Oh, I see. So they want you to kind of identify where you use those specific skills. Let me close this. Okay, so at least I'd highly recommend you have at least your 50 key skills. These can also be technical skills, just as an FYI, okay? Um, and lastly, I did wanna show you under the recommendation section, 
This is so, so important because I have seen people get hired uh, for full time and for um, contract opportunities and just attracting an audience based on recommendations. So I would recommend at least five really solid from current or previous employers or, or clients that you've worked with. Um, sometimes it's a red flag with if you're a full time employee to get any with your current employers to just focus on like previous um, leaders, managers, peers. Uh, this could be coworkers. This could be um, if you're still in school or in a graduate program, maybe um, another student that you have that you you want for them, or even like a professor to to submit. And then the last few things here is courses. If there's any that are um, up your alley when it comes to the work that you're doing, whether it be creative work, research, writing, anything like that, marketing. Um, HR kind of gives you an idea of psychology. So really neat to have that as an additional piece. And then organizations that you might be a part of and then common interests and causes. So just this is a great way for people to be able to connect with you, relate to you, get to know you, just the authentic you. So what I've realized is that people aren't connecting with the perfect you, they're connecting with really um, the genuine, authentic person, the real and raw, right? We're all perfectly imperfect, which is totally fine. And it's becoming comfortable with that. Okay. So that is a brief tutorial of LinkedIn. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, comment, send me a note um, to Jenna at JennaVargas.com or hello at JennaVargas.com. And I will see you soon. Questions? Uh